Dan here. Did you speed shop? To paint. Camaro edition. Ooh, 13 mil. Important one. When I lose all the half inches, we go right to 13. Um, Did he clean up the transmission fluid? <laughs> the last time? You know. The answer is no. Cleaning up transmission fluid is the same as brushing your teeth. It's just going to get dirty again. So just leave it out there. Um, so today, I think the motor's going to go in this hot rod. So in the last video, we put this thing together. Um, it's got, come on, come on, shake cam. We put it all together, so it's got a brand new liquid bell housing, haze clutch, flywheel, Muncie trans. Uh, it's pretty much dialed, ready to go here. We do have to change the intake manifold, uh, linkage on the transmission, distributor, all those uh, odds and ends, of course. But uh, for it to go in, the front end of this thing is just barely bolted on. And I have to fix the core support. It's got a bit of rust on it, and I haven't painted the firewall. So to do that, we might as well just take the whole front clip off. So that's what we're gonna do right now. We're gonna take the hood off, put it in the corner, um, fenders off, we can just put them on this table here. Just gentle, gentle, gentle. And then uh, I'll work on the firewall, fix the core support, get those painted, let it dry, slam motor in. And then basically at that point, you can just watch the video backwards, save me all the editing time, and it'll look exactly the same other than it'll have a motor in it which is exciting. So let's go, let's go camera stand. Doot, 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 doot. I'll really shake it. Just, just shake it. Okay, okay. Can't handle all the shake comments. There weren't even any last time. You ready? Yeah. Hold on, not really actually. Okay. It's jammed in there. Oh God. This is too wide for my arms. Too wide for my arms. Well, I'm like maxed out. You want to go in first? I'm, well, then put your arms closer together. Well, I couldn't get it up. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of people watching that don't appreciate that comment. Oh, we're going this way? Yeah. Okay, there we go. Let's give it a walk it in. Think that'll fall? Look at that terribly. You did that. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I did it. <laughs> <laughs> Holy! I didn't do that. If you did, it's gonna. I put my foot there to stop it. We'll check the footage. <laughs> I, and it'll be at this point, it'll have been played 18 times if you knocked it. <laughs> my heart there did a little. <laughs> Honestly, who cares? Okay, let's. Uh, I'll just start gamming this stuff off. What is this? Does this even have? Oh, there's not even a nut in there. Hang on, I got it. I don't need your help anymore. I'm used to it. It's basically like murder. Ow! Ow! Wow, something was sharp there. You know, someone in, in the last video made a comment. I was saying, uh, I'm painting this thing. And I said, it's, well, it's not actually a color, it's a shade. And the guy said, oh, I'm pretty impressed. You're not as dim-witted as you look. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, that's a bit of a mean. Out these like $12 words lately. Well, what can I say? The word of the day toilet paper is paying <laughs> off. <laughs> That's not as dim witted as I was expecting. I'm like, oh, thank you, sir. You know, people can be very nice. They, oh, they for sure can be. Actually, you want to hold this? Let's hold this up. But on the other hand, there is, from time to time, I do, I do bring it on myself. And, I yeah, even painted almost all of it. Man, this thing was pretty low to the ground when we were, when I was shading it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, shading it. What is this? Those are 13s. Maybe the fenders off too? The fenders are coming off. It's all coming off. Are we putting... What's that? We're just storing screws on the ground? Yes, that's where I store things. Well, that's my plan. I put everything on the ground until it can't work. Then I sweep it until it looks like something. Do I have bolts in the bottom of this one? 
That's good for the paint. Okay, that's one. What? I thought you said you were help. Well, you said you didn't need my help anymore. Well, that, that was a minute. That was minutes ago, and now it's changed. I need you. I need every minute of you. Uh huh. Actually, I'll probably just do this. Look at this genius. <laughs> Not so dim-witted now, am I? I don't think they can see it. Here, I'll show them. Just hanging off on the end. The best person yeah. I knock into it and smash! Yeah, the motor for sure. That's one of those heads that's been hit. The motor? What? Well, the headers, when you move it over. Oh, I mean, I'll just knock into the thing in the hole. Oh. Fender will fall off. It's fine. It's all fine. Is this one. What? Is it? Yeah, I'm fine with it. This what do I got going on here? Nothing. Oh, that's a. This one's a snug fit. Hmm. It's not attached underneath, I don't think. What's it jammed up against here? Maybe we only need to take one off. Uh. Holy. Oh, you know what? I put the door bolt in this one. And now that I've loosened it, it's probably going to gouge the... Uh. 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 Yikes. <laughs> Yikes. It's fine. Actually, you want to hold that. Hold what? Just kind of hold the fender at the... At the wheel. All right, this bolt was a pain in the Danielle to get in here. <laughs> you can't keep rubbing my name through the mud like that. Look at this. You took it back. Backwards now shot. It means I did good. Yeah. It means something. Oh, you know what? I slotted it too, I think. You know, if I just. If I would videotape this and maybe remember what I did. Oh, okay, it's coming out. Yeah, you holding it? Yeah. Can you feel it? Okay, hang on, hang on. Oh, I used a long bolt there. Okay. Mint, yeah, it's out. Okay. Don't knock into things. Can you hang it? Can you hang 10? <laughs> oh, I didn't buy bolts for this though. That was a, you're up against the oil pan there. Well, what do I do? <laughs> no, just Danielle it a little bit. Hang on. Okay, there we go. Watch the paint, girl. Okay, this, I need a, what do I need? Yeah, make sure you tell it the stakes. That always <laughs> works. Where's the last? Where's my tool? Are we on the floor? No, I had. Well, uh -huh. Am I right? <laughs> it was on the floor. So I have a system. Uh huh. You got some. Did you get motor mounts? Yeah. Motor mounts. Yes, I did. Did I get motor mounts? Who do you think you're talking to? Speedy speech off. Forgetful, hold this. Okay, pull that up. Off. Uh, this goes? Not really. This DeWalt here, I tell you. Wow. Yeah, perfect right there. Okay, so now a little bit of scuffing and painting. I'll do that right quick. Oh, actually grab the camera here. So this core support is mediocre, but right here you see it's all kind of rotten. So I gotta fix that. And then, so a little bit down at the bottom, I think I might just wire wheel that and call it a day. Everything else looks good. What a weird place for it to rust there. 
So I'll see if I can take that out, a little piece on, drill a hole, and put that back together, and then really give her a coat of paint. Otherwise, I think we're good. The only thing I'm missing is a wiper motor, unfortunately, so that's a hassle. But really, that's future Dan problems. Current Dan's paint. I'll uh, I'll get some gear. I'll get set up. Make sure I have some semi gloss. And this thing will be ready for paint before I know it. Oh, finally Danny's gone. We can just be us. So here, no bones about it. Here's what we're going to do. This is the tool of the day. I'm going to do that. Scuff it all up. We're not bringing it right down. You can, you can clearly see what's hidden by the fender. So this is almost irrelevant. We'll just kind of clean that up. You know, you might be able to see just a, I don't know, a little through here and there. We'll blast that. This... You know, same thing in, in this area. You'll see if I do put inner fenders on, a lot will be blocked, but we'll do that. So that is what we're gonna do right now. Oh, right quick. I was just talking to Scott Polar Motors. Love that guy. He's so diplomatic. He's just such a nice, nicest guy. And uh, I, he shows me all sorts of things or explains things. So when I was painting the car, I had me, oh damn it, somebody scratched that. Um, when we were painting, I said, oh, you, you wanna overlap or whatever I said there. You know, and because he had said that, and, and then he told me that what he really meant, or what he really said, let's not say meant, said, and I had totally forgot, you just don't want to overlap on the second coat the same as you did on the first. So, mental note, eight months from now when I paint another car, maybe I'll just call him ahead of time and get a little bit of advice again. That's what I did the first time. I should have done that this time. That was my fault. Anyways, Kohler Motors, check that guy out. Um, yeah, set the camera up. We everything kind of roughed up, and... Uh, yeah, we'll try and just be careful. Paint around some stuff, cut some, this is all, this is all junk. We got a new wiring harness for it. This is all gonna come out anyways, but man, this firewall is beat. Oof. Okay, so we gave her a quick coat of paint. Eh, it went a little, a little heavy. We did semi-gloss and then flat on the sides, mostly because all I had was like one half can of semi-gloss and two cans of flat black. Now, the next thing we gotta do, uh, unfortunately, I need the welder, and I wasn't thinking about that with all these items here. So what we might do is just let that dry. And while that dries, I'm gonna clean up. This is the uh, uh, transmission cross member. So I'm going to wire wheel this, we'll paint this black, we'll let this and the firewall dry, then we can put the motor in, motor trans in, we can probably hang the fenders or at least move them, have more space with stuff, and then I can uh, get to this and weld this up right quick. It's, I mean, yeah, it's kind of irrelevant, that's not a big job. Also, I got to run out and get more semi-gloss uh, black, so that's what I want to paint that as well. Oh, no planning. The DD Speed Shop way. Anyway, so that's the plan. I'll get that dialed right quick, get that uh, painted up, and I'll come back when everything's kind of set up, ready to go. See if we can get Danny outside again, help me out, and uh, dial this all together. Well, actually, you know what? I gotta come back. I have motor mounts. I have all sorts of stuff here. I'm talking up my ass. You'll see me shortly. Okay, we're back. Um, firewall, nicely cleaned up. Turned out okay. I'm happy with it. Eh? Eh? Okay. 
Yeah, it's still there. Oh yeah, Danny wanted to show me show the shirt. So we got DD Speed Shop on the front. It actually does pretty well with grinding. And then uh, we got Nomad on the back, right? Yeah. There you go. That's on their website. DDSpeedShop.ca. Danny's Disaster <laughs> Speed Shop. Dot ca. Okay. Dot ca. 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 Yeah. Oh, I thought you said cam. Not cam. <laughs> America. We're not pro-America here. Okay, so pull these headers off. I got to put motor mounts on right quick, so we'll just do it in one fluid motion. We just put the headers on because they look cool. Oh, yeah, I should have got a wrench for this one. So, hang on. I got it. I'll just wait here awkwardly. Also known as the usual. Yep. So you got that. I got, uh, we got a new trans mount on it. So that's mint. These are the mounts we're gonna use. I'm gonna use stock ones. Usually I do um, solid mounts, but these should be good. So we'll bolt it to the car and that'll just fit like that. If it was smarter, maybe I would have painted them a little or something, but you know what? What'd that guy say? Dimwit, is that what it was? Yeah. A little dimwitted today, I guess. Just today? Yeah, the guy said the other day I wasn't so uh, dim wave it, dim witted. <laughs> so I managed to, to fake it there. Oh, this is a bit of a goofy deal. Sure, this is made in the USA, these mounts. Oh. That's actually shocking. I bought these right from the parts store instead of off Amazon, so they cost three times as much for, son of a bitch, the same exact product. This is taking like all of my concentration. We gotta do the other side too. Uh, That's cool, just watching. Yeah, if you just wanna hang Can out you there. Do some gulping for us. Gulp, gulp. Heavy breathing. You know what, you haven't been a long time showing us your butt crack. Well, I'm trying, trying to avoid that. Not very hard, but I am trying. The only dance is It's all about the content, okay. So we got that side on. What else was I gonna say? I had something to say and then you cut in with your gibberish that no one cares about. I wish I would've taken these headers off before we started filming. But you know what the people said? They wanna see more work. More work, less talking. Quit time lapsing. Don't just do it. All right, well, oh, this header is pre-dented. For, uh, for spark plug, I've never seen that before. Hooker, maybe they've, they've clued in over the years. Just double check, make sure these are still, I don't think there's a left and a right on these. They were the same part number. Can I do it? Um, sure. Let me just get started and you can zing it in. Or what, what do you want to do? I'll put it on. Oh, I gotta hold the camera? Shameless plug. Come on, Danielle, work faster. Get a haircut. What's taking so long? You want to just install the whole motor for me? Yeah. Oh, I don't think I have a water pump. I gotta get a water pump, a fuel pump. I bought a starter. What else do I gotta get? We have a distributor. We gotta change the intake manifold. I think that's about it that we're missing we have headers we have header gaskets we got header bolts starter i said i have i don't think i have that oh and a front dress i need pulleys i might have a bunch of miscellaneous on the wall the wall of miscellaneous pulleys i think this stuff this one might be good a dual job oh yeah I think that's a long water pump one too. This, eh, who knows, we'll find some. Are you done yet? Zing it. Man. Man. Is that on? We'll do the other one then just give them a once over after. You gotta get them equally. Yeah, there you go, and I'll give it a burp. 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 
Perfect. This is yours again. Let's put this mill in. This is where the real heavy breathing is going to come. I will say the seven minutes of cleanup today really makes life a little easier when it comes to installing stuff versus struggling, and hating my life, getting caught and everything. I'm sure, I'm sure it'll still come, but I wonder if I should change where the hook is or if that's just going to be, be what's going to be. Oh, do we have a floor jack? It's behind me. I need that for the transmission. Are you on your phone texting? I was going to take a thumbnail. Oh. I don't want to bang the firewall too hard. You're on, uh, you're on firewall watch. Can you look at me for a second? Huh? There you go. We can't do two things at once. I'm a woman and I'm off We have to give the people everything they want. Oh. This is going to be a problem. Oh, it doesn't fit under the car. Doesn't fit under the car. Sorry, you got it. Struggle, as per usual. Um, Love it. What'd you say? Love it. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Holy moly. What is wrong with you? What can I do here? Because I'm going to need... Oh! Yeah, I think I got this figured out. Oh, heavy breathing. We'll just put what the, go in here. What the? Come on, you rascal! There we go. If I just lift this up, what? This is broken. What happened here? Uh, Murr, what is going on? Why is it? Oh, there's something wrong with your jack, Murr. Buy me another one when they're on sale. You gotta be on Princess Auto Deals. Ooh. Okay. This is precarious, I'm not gonna lie. As long as we're under it, as I always say. What the frick am I hitting? Oh, frustration. I've lost interest in carrying with the firewall. See how fast that went? That right there is lack of patience. Okay, that's not bad. Gotta move this. Okay. Go on a little, a little cattywampus. Unfortunately, twist this whole thing over. Ow, ow! All right on the shin. This isn't going my way. Do you know you have a big hole in your crotch? See, it's a big hole. Okay. So now, now the floor jack's holding the car up. I need a floor jack under the transmission. Get the one from next door. My shin is on fire right now. Okay, yeah. You want me to hold it? No, no, no. Let's get this other floor jack. Here. Thanks, guys. Ugh. Frustrating. Everything is frustrating me. Whew. 
Why did floor jacks get so heavy? You know? Careful not to like the legs so wide there. I'm wearing tidy whiteies, we're fine. All right. Now, oh, let's squeeze the window there. There we go. Is it just installing itself in the motor mounts yet? Oh, oh, oops. What are you doing? I was trying to get a little more light on and then I actually made it scroll. <laughs> it's actually quite close to the motor mount, yeah. Okay, transmission's actually a little high. Not bad though. If we can just get this. What's it called? Oh, it's called throttle. Uh, uh, the want to use a pry bar. It's high right now. I can get that over. We're about, I feel like we're fixing to see some butt crack. I feel like it's coming yeah, out. It's Damn it! I really thought I was doing a good job there. Uh, why is every motor... <laughs> I really thought this one was going to be okay. What am I... What am I doing? <laughs> it's caught. <laughs> he said out into the universe. <laughs> well, I don't know why. Oh, there we go. Oh. Okay, something happened. The one side's in. And I actually have motor mount bolts, which usually I don't do this. So, which ones do we need? Oh, I might not have got long enough ones. Buffoon! No. They're long enough to go in, they're just not long enough to be bolted. So, so what are you do? I'm going to put them in and not bolt them. I think it was pretty clear on that. Oh, that doesn't sound safe. Well, we're not done. It's just temper, uh, temper permanent, permanent. Excuse me, cheetah pants. Can you, what can you do for me? I need a hammer. My life needs a hammer. Okay. Uh, <laughs> You're very exasperated. I'm getting frustrated. I feel myself getting cranky. She nailed it. So I need a f these are three and a half, so I need fours. That half inch just really gets to a guy. Uh, huh. That doesn't line up. Why would that be? There was actually two holes in this one motor mount I, I saw, but one was... Can you jack it? This or No. That, come on. That one. Okay, hang on. I need a... Need a tool. That's right. Yes. Where did I put the impact? Oh, you put it. Who puts it back where it's supposed to be? That light is blinding. Oh, it's on? I didn't know that. Okay. So, it has to go over for some reason. Put it, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's happening here. Okay. Can I go guy over this over a bit? It's not bad. Did we win? Looks like. It looks like. Pass me that hammer. 
You know what they say when life gives you lemons? Smash it with a hammer. Oh, what the frick is going on here? Come on, you bugger. There we go. Okay. Okay. Go in. Go to your hole. Okay, that one's in. Does this one line up with anything? They're slotted for a reason. You want to uh, put it down a little? Or is it down all the way? Yeah, keep going. That's not bad. I can see the hole. Why won't it? Uh... It's in between two holes. Yeah, that's a weird one. Give it a jack. Oh, hang on right there. Maybe I can do this. Uh, jack it again. No, okay, hang on. Drop it. Oh, that might actually. Can you? Drop the floor jacket just a little bit, actually. We're gonna have to drop that and raise the motor at the same time. It'll work. Just to crank it very, very slowly, just so it drops slow. Yeah, keep going, keep going. Nothing's happening, keep going. Are you turning it left? I'm trying, I don't know what There you go, whoa, that's good. Uh, can you drop this just a little bit? You're a good helper today. A little more. A little more. Yeah. Yeah. Shut it low. Is it, is it done? Son of a... It's so close. This motor mount's got a weird kind of deal to it. Like it's started, but it's crooked. Okay, well, motor's in. We have to... We need to go up a little bit so that you can... The problem is the bolts aren't long enough, so no matter what, we're going to be screwing with it. Right. But that's... That's in. So that's cool. So this can actually come out now. done with that this will actually bring the transmission up so we should be good there so now I gotta try and jam this cross member in so this might be a trick I hope this is the same front and back it looks the same so I'll have to just, basically what's gonna happen is the two frame rails, I assume it sits on top and the transmission will sit right there. So I'm gonna get out of there and screw around with that. There's nothing to see right now because it's not on the lift. And then, uh, yeah, maybe that's where we're gonna leave it once the motor's done. I'm not too sure. I'm, I feel like I need a brake already. I'll see you later. <laughs> oh, okay, it was a little stressful, but almost dropped the car on your head. Yeah, I just asked her to put it down slowly and slowly was actually full speed. So for some reason, this one motor mount's dual drilled, which I don't really understand why, but it's irrelevant. We actually gotta go get some longer bolts, which everything's closed. Well, we might be able to go out there and look for something. Need some four inch long 7 16 bolts, which is oddball size. I might have 7 16 all thread rod actually. I'll have to look. But it's not going anywhere, and ultimately, even with the fenders on, it's gonna be pretty simple to get in there. There's no, there's no headers, there's no exhaust yet, so I would like to get that in there. Yeah, actually, it all it should be fine even after the fact. Transmission's in, it's sitting on its mount, it's in the subframe, but not bolted, so that's good. But the motor is 
Motor's in, it doesn't even look that big. Did you use subframe connectors? No. You only need subframe connectors of 440 horsepower. We only have 436 horsepower. So it's completely irrelevant. So now, yeah, honestly, you could probably take this stuff out. I, I put these in the collapse the suspension. Oh, I don't have shocks for this thing. My bottom or not, I'll have to go back and look. But uh, we got the motor in. So I think that's where I'm gonna leave it here. I ended up kind of being a bit more of a fiasco than I was hoping for. I also got you gotta get hardware for that core support now I think about it because I just used all thread rod for it, which is wrong. So we gotta finish that up, but on the next video, we can put the core support in, we can hang the fenders, get that on there properly, then I can put the headers in, we can put the brakes up to finish the brakes. Oh yeah, this thing is all new brakes up, but nothing's plumbed. So we can put the master in. Yeah, it's really gonna come together here like pretty dang on quick, which is friggin' awesome. So I gotta change the intake manifold. There's a few little odds and ends we gotta take care of here yet. I think we made a lot of progress today. So I'm gonna take a break. Even though I only came out maybe an hour ago, that didn't go as swimmingly as I hoped. That was definitely stressful. And the friggin' car was all the way apart. Like there's, it could not have been easier, but uh, such is life. Thank you so much for watching. As always, oh, we can now put this one. Oh, we didn't even extend this out. That probably would have made life easier too, now that I think about it. Today was the Dimwit Award. That other guy, he jinxed it. Had I put this out two more extensions, I wouldn't have had to worry about all that crap. Huh. You know, with as many engine pulls as I do, you'd think I'd have a checklist and get her under control by now, but just not the case. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. I can't wait to read the comments. Subscribe below. All those things. See you later.